invited to the set of a World of Dance production. We want to get a backstage look at their production company and find out what skills are important to them. The World of Dance produces competitions on a global basis. Producing events and TV shows requires a lot of time management skills to meet their deadlines. The entertainment industry is fast paced and needs employees who can meet their demands. We just arrived and we are about to meet with the World of Dance CEO, Matthew Everett. How would you rank the importance of time management skills for one of your employees? Well, time management is really important. On a scale of one to 10, I'd say it's probably an 11. Uh, if you're gonna be good at any one thing, I'd say it's be good at time management. Is there a cost to a company if the employees don't have good time management skills? There is, there can be a substantial financial cost. Uh, there can also be a substantial non-financial uh, cost. Uh, one of my mentors would often tell me that uh, the most important numbers in a business are unknown and unknowable. And when time management goes wrong, uh, you can't measure the cost of reputation loss, of your client satisfaction decreasing, of employee morale. Uh, so it definitely has a cost. My favorite thing in the world is a checklist. I create one every morning so that I know what I need to do. Uh, checklists are both easy, natural, they're shareable, uh, they're helpful for you for a project, they're helpful for you in documenting uh, what a process, what's involved in, in uh, outlining a process, and they're great project management tools that allow you to create and share checklists, timelines and responsibilities, and definitely a big supporter of those. I do believe that 85% of the outcome is determined by the first 15% of the process. If something does go wrong, the first question I asked was, was there a process? And if they answer, yes, there was, then I say, well, did you follow the process? Uh, if they didn't follow the process, then that's a problem. But if they follow the process and something went wrong, then it means that we need to go fix the process. Uh, and if there was no process, then we need to all jump in and figure out how to make sure that we know how to do it so that doesn't happen again. During your meetings, is there a system that you use to manage the flow of the meeting so you stay on subject and end on time? A lot of people think meetings are a waste of time, but I actually think meetings can be incredibly productive if run properly. There are three things that I suggest uh, you do to run an effective meeting. One is create an agenda and share it in advance so people can prepare. The second is to run an effective meeting. You need to make sure that people know why they're there, so you have to be an effective facilitator. And then third, you have to share it after the meeting a recap so that people know what the action items were. Is there a method you use to move a project along using short-term deadlines to reach the final outcome? Yeah, I borrow a lot from software development methodologies. There's a particular idea about using backlogs and sprints that I really like. The idea there is everything that you need to do, you put in a backlog and then you pull from that the things that you're gonna do in a particular period of time, we call that a sprint. Uh, during the sprint, you can only work on the things that were assigned to that sprint. And then when it's over, then anything that wasn't done goes back in the backlog and you start the process all over again. How do you manage the like to do versus the must do task on an event in relationship to time management? Well, the backlog and sprint system is really helpful for that because it's a way for you to capture every idea you need to do without losing them in the backlog, but prioritize the important ones first by putting them in the sprint. But there's actually another idea that I really like, which is Stephen Covey's four quadrants uh, concept from his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He talks about rating tasks on a scale of urgency and an importance, spending as much time as you can on, obviously, the important tasks, the urgent tasks, uh, as long as they're important, but not spending as much time 
and trying to avoid completely the unimportant and non-urgent tasks. What makes an employee a superstar time manager? If you want to know how to be a superstar, know the difference between done and truly done. Because those are the people who I can count on, who I trust, who know when something is truly finished, they've crossed the finish line. Those are the people that I trust to lead projects. Those are the people that I trust to lead other people. And those are the people that I actually want to promote to greater positions of responsibility.